to Hatchapi, California. Tom is on the line. Hi, Tom. Hi, Leo. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Hey, it's good to talk to you. I'm good. Uh, the reason I'm calling today is I have, uh, in, uh, I'm concerned about uh, security and bill paying, online banking, uh, purchasing online, all of that kind of stuff. Reasonably so, so yes. So what I have right now is I have a, uh, what was originally a Windows 7 HP laptop that I upgraded to Windows 10. Okay. And then I have an old desktop that was that has Windows Vista on it, but I've been considering uh, putting Linux on that. There you go. Uh, is Linux is that the way to go for security? Well, certainly. Um, either way, you're going to be secure. Here's the here are the risks of online shopping and online banking. Uh, as with any on, uh, stuff in the real world or online, the real danger comes at the merchant's end because they get your number, right? Uh, or yeah. the bank's end. So if the bank's not secure, the merchant's not secure, not much you can do. As long as your transaction is using HTTPS, you know, you see HTTP colon slash slash, if you see the S in there or you see the padlock, the green padlock, then your data is completely encrypted from you to the merchant. And so it's not visible to anybody but the merchant. What the merchant done was does with it is another matter. The most secure way to do this is to use Android Pay or Apple Pay. In general, the way Apple Pay works, and if you have a Macintosh, the new Macintoshes, or if you have an iPhone, you know it uses your fingerprint to authenticate you. You associate a card with it, but the merchant doesn't get the credit card. The merchant just gets a token, which he can't use. He can't steal. So that even protects you against the merchant's poor security practice. So that's the most secure way to do it. Now, the reason people often do use Linux for home banking is because Linux is less hackable. And so there is that concern, you know, at your end, if somebody's got a keystroke log or something watching all your typing or something like that, they can see what you're typing. And that's, uh, that's where my concern was. Um I, I I don't unfortunately get a chance to listen to you very often, but I have heard you recently talking about problems with uh, Windows 10 and recommending oh, yeah. just getting a, you know an Android uh, so notebook or here's whatever. What, yeah, oh Chromebook, yeah, Chromebook yeah, is Chromebook. more secure. Chromebook is Linux. It's Linux with um, a uh, uh, kind of a nicer interface on top of it. Basically, the Chrome browser on top of it. Those are pretty secure. You're, I don't know of any exploits. The only exploits at all on a Chromebook are uh, malicious Chrome extensions. So if you don't install, you know, all sorts of weird Chrome extensions, you're fine. Now, the other way to go, it really paranoid people will we'll get a, a USB key from a known good source. You want That's another place you can get in trouble is with a USB key from a known good source. And they'll put a secure version of Linux on it. Now, there's two ones, two excellent choices there. One is called Tails, T-A-I-L-S. You actually, a better way to do it even would be a DVD. The problem is, because DVDs can't be written to, but the problem is very few computers have DVD players anymore. So most people put it on a USB key. Tails.boum.org. That's a very good one. And then there's this new Cubes OS, which is a Linux-like operating system specifically designed for security. Q-U-B-E-S-O-S.org. Similar idea, maybe even a little more safe because it's not Linux. So, you know, you get some security by obscurity, by not using a common operating system. So using, Q but I think Tails is certainly adequate. Cubes or Tails, either one. That you would, that would, if you're super paranoid, that would be the choice. Yeah, I, I'm looking for something to actually install on my computer. I, I don't really want to necessarily work off a, a boot DVD well, the, or a, Yeah, I mean, the advantage of that is, uh, is nothing gets preserved, right? Yeah. So um, even if you got a malicious program somehow in there, the fact that you're rebooting each time can help you. But like I said, this is the truly paranoid. A Chromebook is probably the best way to do this. Okay. Uh, that's the easiest. I mean, that means buying new hardware. 
and that's better than uh, using a, a Linux operating system. It is a Linux operating system. I mean, but and it's designed system, around security. So, for instance, the uh, Chromebook, if if any any malicious boot software gets on there, it won't boot up. It'll warn you, and you could power wash it and start over. Oh wow. So I, I think the easiest thing for uh, almost everybody, unless you really want to geek out, is just to get a Chromebook. And they're cheap. You, if you said, I'm going to only do online shopping and banking on my Chromebook, I think you'd be in very good shape that way. Just okay. use it Maybe specifically for your, the stuff that you want to keep secure. Okay. All right. Yeah, I'll look into that. Thank yeah, that would be the best way to do that. Um, it, you don't have to. I mean, people are so... Some, there are people... You know, if you're Edward Snowden... <laughs> I mean, if you saw the uh, documentary about Edward Snowden, Citizen Four, he was so paranoid that he wouldn't type in plain view. Before he would write anything, he'd put a jacket over him and the computer in case there was a camera in the room recording his keystrokes. And by the way, if you're that paranoid, a Chromebook won't help because you still have to type passwords. And if there's a camera looking over your shoulder, well, it's going to record it. So... Get a Chromebook and um, a cape. A cape would be very good. And then just pull the cape up over, <laughs> over your head. Tails and, uh, and Cubes OS, by the way, can be installed directly on the computer. The, the reason people use it on a USB key is so that they have kind of a scrubbable situation. But you can install them and run them on the computer, and they're, more, they're secured versions of Linux. But I, I think Google's done a very good job of securing Chrome OS. That's one of the reasons I recommend it all the time.